Let f be the function defined by f of x is e to the x times cosine of x, and we wish to find the average rate of change of f on the interval from 0 to pi, where the average rate of change is simply finding the slope of the second line, slope of the second line, or simply f of pi minus f of 0 over pi minus 0. So you just plug this in, f of pi is e to the pi cosine of pi, f of 0 is e to the 0 cosine of 0 over pi, and the cosine of pi is negative 1, so we have negative e to the pi, and the cosine of 0 is 1, e to the 0 is 1, so we have minus 1 all over pi. So that's, ans that's the answer to the first one. Let's go on to the second one. What is the slope of the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals to 3 pi over 2? Well, now we have to differentiate because we are trying to find the slope of the tangent line, the instantaneous rate of change. Differentiating f prime using product rule, we have e to the x times negative sine of x plus e to the x cosine of x, and we can factor e to the x out to get cosine of x minus sine of x inside. And f prime at 3 pi over 2 is e to the 3 pi over 2 times cosine of 3 pi over 2 minus sine of 3 pi over 2. And the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0, so it goes away. And sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So we have e to the 3 pi over 2, negative negative 1, or positive 1. So we should have e to the 3 pi over 2 at the end. So that's the answer to number 2. Let's go on to part C. Find the absolute minimum value of f on the interval from 0 to 2 pi inclusive. So we are given the closed interval. We are given the closed interval. And we have to find the absolute minimum. Absolute minimum. So what, do, what are we going to do? We are going to do candidate's test. Candidate's test. Where? We look at the end point. We look at the end point. And the critical point. And the critical point. And the critical points are where f prime is 0 or undefined. And for each of these points, we are going to evaluate the function value. And whatever is going to be the smallest is going to be the absolute minimum. So we know the end point. Those are 0 and 2 pi. That's given to us. How do you find the critical points? Well, critical point is when f prime is 0 or undefined. And we know f prime of x. That's e to the x times cosine of x minus sine of x. So let's set this equal to 0 because it's not going to be undefined. So we have e to the x being equal to 0 or cosine of x minus sine of x being equal to 0. Well, e to the x is always positive for real values of x, so that's not going to happen. How about cosine of x is equal to sine of x? Well, there are two values of x, where x is pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. You can draw the unit circle in your head. So here's the unit circle. Where is cosine and sine the same? Where are the x value and y values the same? Well, at pi over 4 at this point, and at 5 pi over 4 at this point. Realize that this point is not going to work, because here cosine is negative, but sine is positive. Either both of them has to be positive, or both of them has to be negative for them to be the same. So we have x being pi over 4, or 5 pi over 4. So now let's actually use the candidates test. So we are looking at x values of 0 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 2 pi, and we're going to plug this into our function. And our function is e to the x cosine of x. So we have f of x being e to the x cosine of x. So let's evaluate f of x for each of these. When x is 0, we have e to the 0 times cosine of 0, or 1 times 1, or simply 1. So that's going to get us 1. When x is pi over 4, we get e to the pi over 4 times cosine of pi over 4, which is square root of 2 over 2. When you plug 5 pi over 4 into it, you get e to the 5 pi over 4 times cosine of 5 pi over 4, which is negative square root of 2 over 2. And 
Finally, when you plug 2 pi into it, we get e to the 2 pi times cosine of 2 pi, which is 1. And it's pretty obvious that every single one of these are positive, except this one, which is negative. So this one has to be the absolute minimum. So our absolute minimum is e to the 5 pi over 4, square root of 2 over 2, and we have negative sign. So that should be the absolute minimum occurring at 5 pi over 4. So let's go on to the final part, part D. Let g be a differentiable function such that g of pi over 2 is 0. The graph of g prime, the derivative of g, is shown below. So they are giving us g prime and g at some values. Find the value of limit as x approaches pi over 2 of f of x or g of x, or state that it does not exist. Justify your answer. Well, let's break it down. Let's first look at the limit of the top. So let's look at the limit of f of x, and also look at the limit of the bottom part, or g of x. Well, the limit for the first one, limit as x approaches pi over 2 of f of x, because what's our function f? Our f is e to the x cosine of x. So let's go back down. Our f is e to the x cosine of x. And since e to the x cosine of x is continuous, continuous, we can just plug in this value of pi over 2 into f. So that's f of pi over 2, also known as e to the pi over 2 times cosine of pi over 2, or 0, because cosine of pi over 2 is 0. For the second one, limit as x approaches pi over 2 of g of x, we know g is also continuous because g is differentiable, so g has to be continuous. So limit as x approaches pi over 2 of g of x should be g of pi over 2, which is g of pi over 2, they gave it to us, 0. So when you evaluate each of the limits, it seems like we're getting 0 over 0. And when you get 0 over 0, or plus or minus infinity, over plus or minus infinity as the limit, you can apply L'Hopital. You can apply L'Hopital's rule. So let's apply it and see if anything's going to simplify, or if we can actually evaluate the limit after differentiating top and bottom. So we know. This limit is equal to applying L'Hopital as x approaches pi over 2 of f prime of x over g prime of x. Now, can we evaluate this? What's the value of f prime at pi over 2? Well, we know f prime. We found it a while ago. Our f prime is e to the x times cosine of x minus sine of x. So our f prime is e to the x cosine of x minus sine of x. So f prime at pi over 2 is e to the pi over 2 cosine of pi over 2 minus sine of pi over 2 and the cosine of pi over 2 is 0 sine of pi over 2 is 1 so at the top we have negative e to the pi over 2 because we have negative 1 times e to the pi over 2 how about the bottom how about g prime at pi over 2 well they gave us the graph of g prime this is g prime and the pi over 2 we see that value is 2 so we have our limit is evaluating negative 2 e to the pi over 2 power or divided by 2.